Hi everyone, welcome to our webinar. Uh, please tell me, do you hear me well? Write type a plus in the chat. Okay, let's wait for a couple of minutes for everyone to join us. Okay, while we are waiting, I can introduce myself. Uh, my name is Dasha and I'm a digital marketer at Onde, formerly known as a taxi startup. Uh, for those who are not familiar with what are we doing, we provide all-in-one platform for uh, on-demand businesses uh, all over the world. And today I'm presenting you a webinar uh, how to create a perfect website for your app and how to gain organic traffic. So I guess uh, I guess we can start. Just a little housekeeping before we start. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can type them into in the chat while I'm talking. And after I finish the main part, I will answer all the questions. Okay. So um, the First question that we should answer ourselves um, before we, I will share a presentation with you to yeah. uh, the first question that we should answer ourselves is uh, why do I need that? Why do I need to create a website for my app? And why should I create a SEO strategy? Um, in today's world, uh, having a website is not even a privilege, is a must have for every online business in the world. So while you have a great website, unfortunately, it's not enough. You also need to have a website which will be user-friendly and which will gain a lot of traffic uh, and how would you do this and not fail? Today I will try to answer this question and help you to understand better what to do while creating a website and a SEO strategy. The first and the main important thing which concerning the creation of the website is there is too much information and you should stand out. To begin with, there is too much of everything nowadays. Uh, the result is simple. To be memorable, you have to catch the eye. Uh, because um, if people won't be able to see the difference between you and many other websites, your business is virtually dead, unfortunately. Even at Stanford University, they recently found out that about 50% of all people shape their opinion about the services based on how the website looks. When users don't like the design, they're much more inclined to perceive all the information is unreliable. Uh, so don't be afraid to be bold, don't be afraid to stand out, don't be afraid to be bright. There is um, so many different sites nowadays and your site should be brighter and better than the others. The second tip is that a cool logo is a hot button. In terms of design, the company logo is the most important thing, actually, yes. The logo is something you use on your website, on your application, in Google Play, on the App Store repeatedly. So if you have a cool logo, there are more chances that uh, your potential customers will convert into customers. Uh, so there is a couple of tips you should follow to create a cool logo. The first one is do not use thin, thin fonts. Uh, they are simply not readable from a distance. The screens of the smartphones are smaller than the desktop version of the site, so you should use fonts which will be readable both from the 
smartphone and from the desktop. The, the second one is to not use capital letters. In case it's inevitable, make sure to increase the letter spacing uh, that the letters won't stick together too much. The third one is to try to make a monochromatic logo. It's not obligatory, but you try to use as, least co as less colors as it is possible. Do not implement tiny details. Because it's not only the website where you will use the logo, small details can be a real pain in the neck, actually. And do not use icons. Okay, if you're a company like Apple, there is also a place for an icon, but if you're a new business, try to avoid it. There are so many icons everywhere on the earth and in different businesses nowadays, so the chance that you will be remembered by the, un uh, by the icon is uh, completely zero, while the company's name is quite to memorize. Uh, so here you can see examples of a good logo design and bad logo design. I guess you can see that using a tiny fonts make the logos almost unreadable from the distance like in the right side of the picture. Tip three, uh, website layout is a key. The layout is uh, basically how your website looks, uh, how you place information on it, how the things are arranged, and there are also several rules for creating a perfect layout for your app's website. Uh, the first one is to be bold and noticeable. Uh, it is very important and, in fact, it is better to send the trend than to follow one. Experiment with your layout, find for attention and you will win. Be as easy as possible. Um, and make all the layout clear. Is there a need to say that all the information should be structured? I guess not. Just try not to talk about everything on one page. Try to be easy to understand. Uh, in the world flooded with the informa information, your users will say thank you if your website will be easy to understand and easy to look through. Uh, less is more is actually the best advice for this tip and for the whole process of creation of website. Less text, fewer pages, shorter pages length should be priorities while creating a website. Another important rule is to understand why people visit your website and try to give them information uh, about what they need, not about everything else. Uh, make sure, be straightforward, and make sure that uh, your content speaks for your company. The top priority of creating a website for an app is monetizing the app, right? So, getting more downloads, attracting new clients, re-engaging the existing customer base. In other words, the design should, should work hard for your business. This is why uh, choosing the right content is essential for a good design. Call to action buttons are a vital element of website design and they should be placed almost on every page of your website. Um, I want to share uh, one rule for creating a content on the website. When you doubt whether it is good or not, then don't place it only if you're sure that your content is great and useful for your users, only then put it on your website, because that works 100%. Uh, the next advice, uh, and I guess it's the most important nowadays, is to be mobile. Uh, 2018 year was the first year um, when uh, Google decided to index mobile websites first. This approach is called mobile first, actually. If you start with a desktop version, 
uh, you have a feeling that there is a lot of space to feed all the information on your website. On mobile, you don't have this space. So scaling from mobile to the desktop version of your website is easier and painless while working another way is labor intensive and often more expensive. So why invest more if you can invest less? Pay attention to the mobile version of the website and make it a priority. And the last one uh, in this tip is use less fonts. Uh, I will show you how <laughs> the good and bad website layout look like. So we can see that using uh, 10 different fonts on one website make it not very user friendly. So do not use more than two fonts on one website. Ideally, start just to one. Uh, select one or two text styles for your text, for your headings, one for buttons, and one for the basic text. And this is right enough to make the website page looks good. Um, today we're going to cover not only the website creation, which is very important, uh, uh, but we can also turn to another step of the success. On the way to success is a search engine optimization. Uh, all the time that we're talking about search engine optimizations, it sounds scary and very um, and not very easy to understand, but ideally, uh, in fact, it's rather easy to understand and uh, it's a must have for every online business. And even if you won't do, if you don't do it yourself or there is it is important to know um, about it. So uh, let's imagine that we have a perfect website and it's time to get customers. Well, uh, I have a bad and good news for you. Uh, bad news that nothing online happens on its own. So having a good website is not enough to get customers. Good news for you that SEO, uh, SEO is not a rocket science, it's not about magic, it's all about strategy, it's all about day-to-day uh, -day work, so proper techniques will help your web page to rank higher and people find relevant information effortlessly and your potential customers convert into real customers. So tip one. Location, location, it's all about location. I will speak about location several times because it is very important for almost all businesses in the world. Of course, if you are not a huge company like Apple and you are a local business, it means that um, your brand message should be shown locally. Add information about your business area on your website so Google could pick up this info for Google Maps searching. For example, if you're a taxi company, you should uh, place information on your website. So if a potential customer search for a taxi, for example, in Sudan, he will uh, look through Google and find your information on his smartphone or on his computer, he will find information about you. If you won't place this information, you just won't get these potential customers. Uh, the second step, as I told before, and I will tell about it one more time, it's time to be mobile. Uh, what does it mean, the importance of uh, being mobile means for your business? You need to put your search engine, mobile search engine optimization first. Uh, we already decided that we must have a mobile friendly website uh, because if you have not mobile, friendly website, Google will index something else 
and won't show your site to mobile users. And uh, you will lose a large amount of traffic and organic potential customers. And as we all know, organic traffic is uh, highly convertible, so you will lose a lot of potential clients. There is um, one golden rule for the website, whether it's for mobile or desktop, test it all the time. From the first view, it can be perfect, it can look good, but you should spend not one hour testing, not once, twice, or even three times. Test, test it all the time. Try to avoid mistakes. Try to solve the problems before they emerge. Try to show your customers ideal side. Uh, try to make it perfect for them and not lose their time. Uh, the third one um, and the biggest question to cover is uh, keywords. We all know what keyword is. So uh, if you want to attract customer, the main important advice, advice of you, which you can use while creating a website, if you want to attract customer, Think like a customer, become a customer, and search like a customer. Find the keywords not like uh, you're the owner of the business, but think like a person who needs a taxi or a different service at this particular moment. Uh, try If you try it once, I promise you, you will see how your result of your website development and website promotion will change. Basically, um, there are three types, main types of keywords. Uh, there are genetic keywords. They generate large amount of traffic, but they are not specified at all, like taxi company or growth hacking. There are so many results, but you should spend more time to find that one that fits you perfectly. The second one is a growth match keyword. They are a little bit more specified, like taxi company in Sudan or growth hacking best practices. And the third one, and the most specific, is a long tail keyword. How to create a taxi company in Sudan or how to use growth hacking techniques to expand business. Each of them, each of the type, attracts different kinds of a traffic and amount of it. So long tail keywords, they're very specific and they will um, they will be shown uh, much less than generic keywords but you sh you shouldn't choose just one of it the safest and the most effective strategy is to mix those type of keywords in order to get a different variety of traffic and uh, concerning the search engine optimization you use your keywords everywhere or everywhere or on every page and there is three seven, three places which where using keywords is more important is content headlines and images headline in fact is a hidden superhero it is good to optimize of course your content and images but your headlines and meta description of every page of your website also matters. You should focus on one or two main keywords for every page which is relevant for them and insert it into your headlines or metadata to help the uh, search engines to crawl your page successfully and to show it. The second one and the most important what is about keywords is a content. While uh, before creating every article on your website, make a keyword research. Thankfully, there are dozens of different tools which will, you can use to choose the relevant keywords for your business. Uh, I think the most known is a Google Keyword Planner. It is free and you can use it all the time. Uh, make sure that your keywords fit the content. Uh, there is also point where rule less is more fits perfectly because 
you don't have to put all the keywords in one text. It's not working anymore. If your text looks too spammy for your users and most important for the search engines, your engine crawlers will notice it. It can lead to negative user experience and harm your site rankings. And again, and again and again, remember locations. The most popular areas offer the most customers. But this doesn't mean that you should ignore your long tail options, which includes the name of the place or location where your business is operating. People search for services in this area, so don't miss out on lower ranking QRS. It can be less, but it can lead to more customers than the not specific one without mentioning their location. And the fourth one uh, concerning the content uh, becomes special and find the exclusive keywords. What does it mean? Think of a special services uh, which only you can offer to your customers. It can be everything. Uh, do you offer longer journeys if you're a taxi company or do you offer, offer party taxi services? Try to think about these options such as, for example, airports, pick up and drop off. There are so many services that people need and try to uh, offer something instead of being like all of your competitors and um, offering just a taxi service to your customers. Uh, there are also can be long tail keywords uh, that represent the special services that people are ready to buy rather than just browse through. So be bold and become special and, not, and don't be afraid to use something that is too specific or only you can offer it. That's your privilege. In fact, that can make you successful. Uh, what is also important that you should optimize not only your content, not only the headings, not only the meta description of other page of your website, you should also optimize your, your images. Don't forget to use keywords uh, in your image description. It is good practice to use words like uh, an image or photo or picture along with your picked keywords, because nowadays statistics show that people search not only in a classic way, but also they search by pictures. So you can catch these customers while they're looking for, a, for example, taxi company with the most beautiful cars or newest cars, for example. So uh, the next question which I want to cover is uh, optimize the website itself. A key part of your website optimization should focus on your main aim of the, your website. It can be the main, the main purpose of a website for an app is a downloading app, right? So one last piece of advice from me for this point is don't limit yourself to one download button. We've seen a thousands of websites where we can see one download button in the footer of the page. So that's not working anymore. And the world is moving so fast, so you should grab the attention at every page of your websites. And ideally, your download button for your app should be clearly visible on the home page. After all, it's the main point of your business to download the application. So don't be afraid to uh, place it everywhere. It's better to place it twice than not place it at all. Uh, all in all, the way how well structured your website is and how intuitive the navigation is and important not only for the user experience, but also for your search engine optimization. If you spend a little bit more time to make your site, website easy to use, 
uh, visitors will come to your website, easily go through all the information and convert into riders and search into engine crawls, will find all the pages and index it properly. Search engine optimization, in fact, is not as difficult as it seems. Uh, and it's more like collecting a puzzle. More steps you take, uh, more clear the final result is. The most complicated step in creating a website and promoting a website and gaining the organic traffic is the first one. Don't try to do everything at one time. Building a strategy is more than just finding right keywords or becoming good at content or creating a great layout. It is a strategy and day-by-day -day work on improving your website and attracting new customers through organic traffic. Um, so, I guess I'm done with the first part. I told you everything I wanted to, so it's time to turn to questions. Uh, please type them into the chat or ask a question part in your Crowdcast panel, so I will answer all your questions. I will give you a minute or two to come up with your questions, to write it down. Oh, it looks that we already have a couple of questions. So, um, how to make a website important? Okay, so I can start answering this question from the very beginning of the webinar. And there is a couple of steps to take to make it important. Uh, the most important uh, step is to create it. The most important thing to make it important for search engine crawlers, as, I, as far as I understand, is to make it useful for your potential customers. Uh, don't try to make engine crawls happy, try to make your user happy. Look at your web website like a potential customer. Try to use it, test it all the time, and if your customers are happy, search engine crawls are also happy, you will get customers, you will also be happy. Okay. Okay, so do we have more questions? Uh, will only be offering a create a website service in the future. In fact, uh, Lars, uh, we already have a um, service not creating a website, but see uh, search engine optimization of the website. So uh, our services do not include the whole creation of the website. We can just look at the web existing website, give our advices, try to fix something that we can't fix, and optimize the website for the search engine crawls. So we have some kind of such a service at the moment and we will have it in the future. Thank you for the question. Uh, we have one question, which for me is not clear, unfortunately. Is there any app for this setup? I think if you ask the question concerning the Crowdcast, not the search engine optimization, if I'm not mistaken, of course. If I am, please uh, edit your 
question or write something for me to understand what you're talking about. So maybe you have, if you don't have any questions, we can wrap up, I guess. Okay, Lars, there is another question from you. Companies like tech, my taxi have a standard website that their clients can fill their own content into. Perhaps an idea for the future would probably all have the same need. Oh, uh, you know, uh, as I said before, uh, different websites uh, have different aims. Uh, while creating a website for, um, for like just a place to have information on it, that's okay to have a content from the customers. If you are talking about content like articles, if you are talking about content like testimonials, that's the other thing. To have testimonials is actually great for every website, every business, every application. Um, but thank you for the idea. And we should all understand that if you, we create a website for an app, for an application which is available to download on the app stores. The main important uh, aim is to uh, get as more downloads of the application as, po as possible. Okay, uh, the next question is is it possible to add a taxi booking service on our website that can allow customers to book taxi through website? Uh, I guess, yes. <laughs> Technically, everything is uh, possible. Uh, and you can uh, create such a form on your website. Uh, if you are talking about whether Ondi can offer you such a service, I guess uh, not, because uh, if you create such a form by yourself and uh, let us create a search engine optimization strategy for you, uh, we, will let, we will let customers find your website more quickly and fill the form from the website, of course, yes, it is possible to add a taxi booking service on the website. Okay, so if you have any other questions which you don't want to share with public, you can definitely uh, send it on our email, marketing at on the app. Also, what I could use you may not do this, all the difficult stuff by yourself, like creating a SEO strategy and fixing your website to become as user friendly and friendly to search engine crawls. Uh, you can request a SEO strategy package from our company. For the request, you should just write hello or something like that to our email 
and we will contact you and help you to become successful to create a perfect website for not to create to, uh, promote your website for your app and to gain as much organic traffic for you as possible so it looks like we covered up everything we wanted so i want to say thank you all for attending the webinar i hope um, i really hope that it was useful for you of course i will send you a follow-up with all the information concerning the webinar tomorrow and thank you guys for attending and i hope to see you on our next webinar so let's keep in touch and we'll be happy to share some more um, good information with you so thank you all have a good day and bye bye